the Tommy Whittle Handicap Chase is next up. This is a 0 to 140 over three miles. Cape of Piers, Darren Thompson at the top. Viking Scene, John Morgan, Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry, Nashville Ridley, Vinnie Gerrard, Lords Kestrel, David Rawson, Chili Bang Certain, Thomas Rogers, Lawn Tennis, Graham Clods, well, Let's Hope, David Hooley, What a Sunrise, Craig Beckwith, Jadawi Stefano, James Shea, Cirque, Martin Leatham, and Track Dan, Leon Van Rensburg. So 12 of them this time. In the Tommy Whittle, they start in the shadow of the post, and away they go. Two complete full circuits of the track required. And Viking scene is the first one to show from Cape of Pears in second. Lawn Tennis is pulling for its head, wants to go a little bit quicker than Graham Clutterbuck's jockey wants it to. But at the moment, it's Viking scene, the John Morgan front runner that's setting the pace. And is four lengths clear of Chili Bank Certain in second. Cape of Pears is third, then Lawn Tennis the grey fourth with Jadawi Stefano on that one's inside it's towards the back the second of the grades it's just the back Morocco at the moment that's Lord's Kestrel but they're all safely over the first of the 18 but they've got to negotiate and Viking scene is bowling along happily five or six lengths clear of Chili Bank certain second and Cape of Pears third if they get into the second mistake there by the Leon von Rinsberg horse track down and seeing that one lose its place and they're just shuffle towards the back Viking scene is set at a sensible sort of pace, they're not going too quickly. And skips over fence number three. They're all over that one okay as well, although Alex Cherry's rampant lion was a little bit hesitant. And let's hope for David Hoodie is the back marker. They're getting quite well strung out to say the pace isn't all that hot. And Viking scene is clearing the lead by a good four lengths to Chili Bank Certain in second as they get to the fourth. And um, that time the mistake on the inside was by the Vinnie Gerard horse, Nashville Ridley. And it's Viking Scene who continues to lead. Chili Bank certain second as they take this ditch. And oh, he's gone this time, Nashville Ridley. He made a mistake at the one before. And uh, that time he didn't take it at all well and gave the jockey no chance. Exited, exited the side door. And Nashville Ridley is out of the toy whittle. But it's Viking Scene who is four lengths clear of oh, Chili Bank certain in second. Jadami Stefano is in third. As they get to the sixth. We'll jump that one nicely with what a sunrise just about the back marker. Circle so towards the back. Let's hope has made some good ground. That one was last a few fences ago and has now moved nicely through the centre of the pack as they get over number seven. And there's another one gone at the back there. Lord's Kestrel's gone. So that's one of the two greys out. Uh, Lord's Kestrel a fall up. At that one. Viking scene continues to lead then as they come down towards the midway point in the jump in that's fence number eight the next one will be the middle one oh, a mistake at the back again by what a sunrise uh, one or two of these not jumping all that well but Viking certain is going well enough in the lead and jumping okay so far from Chili Bank certain in second and rampant liners now move through into third on the outside of Jadawi Stefano then comes the grey lawn tennis with Cape of Pears the white sleeves over on the rail as they come up past the big screen. We do seem to be getting a lot of juddering video this week. And Viking scene is the leader. And Chili Bang certainly in second. So whether some of these comms end up out of sync when they're put to the final video. I don't know, but I've definitely had a couple of freeze ups in my races so far. I think Stu mentioned. To me on text that he had some difficulties with one or two of his as well. So it's Viking scene in the lead then. Skipping over number 10 in front. From Chili Bang certain in second. And then Cape of Pears is third. Rampant Line is fourth and Jadawi Stefano is fifth. And Let's Hope has made really good ground from the back. Then comes Track Down and Lawn Tennis. Cirque on the inside and then a gap back to Water Sunrise at the back. And Viking scene. This is down towards the final mile with a lead of a length and a half. We're in the lead all the way. This one gets over that one nicely. Oh, mistake again by Rampant Lion. Uh, right down on his nose. But Viking scene continues to lead. Chili Bank certain second. Cape of Pears looks to be going well in third. Jadawi Stefano now just being pushed up in fourth to take a little bit closer order. And let's hope Lawn Tennis on the outs. Oh, the leader made a mistake this time. The first time he's really hit one. 
and Chili Bang certain has now been left in front. Viking Singh now immediately fights back and regains the lead, jumped that ditch much better and has now regained the lead. So it's Viking Singh on the inside of Chili Bang certain. Then comes Cape of Pairs, who still looks to be going best of all in third. Then Jadawi Stefano. Then comes Lawn Tennis. Then Let's Hope Cirque's trying to run on. Rampant Line is after that one. Track down hasn't got going at all yet today. Water Sunrise has just started to tail off now then. But Viking Scene is the leader. Four furlongs to go. And four fences to jump over the fourth last they go. And it's Viking Scene in front from Chili Bank Certain. Cape of Pears. Let's Hope Janari Stefano. Lawn Tennis Cirque trying to run on. Rampant Line on the outside. Down the Z third last. And Viking Scene over the final ditch. Looks to be going well. Still in the lead. He's in front then by about two and a half lengths to Let's Hope who's trying to close in second. Then Janari Stefano and then Lawn Tennis trying to run on. They've got two more fences to take. Viking Scene's been in the lead all the way. Viking Scene then coming out towards the second last. Gets over and gets away from it well. Slower jump by Let's Hope. Janari Stefano and Lawn Tennis are trying to run on. Cirque's trying to run on too. So too Cape of Bears. But it's coming out towards the final fence now then. And suddenly Viking Scene is treading water and Lawn Tennis swoops into the lead. Lawn Tennis has taken up over the final fence. They go. Lawn Tennis lands in front. Gets away from it well. Janari Stefano's trying to close. So too is Cape of Bears. But this is going to be Lawn Tennis. Game set match, Clutterbuck, and Lawn Tennis raises up towards the line and takes it. Lawn Tennis is the winner. Second is Genoa Stefano. Cape of Pairs third, then let's open Circa Genoa Stefano. All the way back to what a sunrise. And Lawn Tennis takes it. You're not going to be playing much Lawn Tennis over the next couple of months. Not in this country anyway. But he's taken this one and... Exit for Graham Clutterbuck, Lawn Tennis, the winner, Jadawi Stefano for James Shea's second, Cape Affairs fluttered to deceive for a long way in third for Darren Thompson, let's hope David Hoody fourth and the long-time leader of Viking scene for John Morgan was fifth.